Today we're going to be engraving on the handles of these uh, cheese knives. These knives are not completely flat, so it doesn't um, sit flat. So we're gonna have to think of a way to make it sit flat while it's engraving. One way to do that is to use some rice. Put it on the rice so that um, the engraving area is completely flat and then use a level to flatten it even more but we cannot we can do that but it's going to take a while because we have to align each one every single time um but i'm going to be making a lot of these so we're going to be using the acrylic method of aligning and uh, leveling things since this object has no easily defined features i prefer taking a photo completely perpendicular to it like so, and then I load it into Lightburn, as you can see here. And then I'll have to adjust the photo so that the ratio is one to one. If you'd like to learn how to do that, I'll link a video on the description. And then I trace around the handles using the red cut layer, as you can see from here. Then after that, I resized and placed the design inside the tracing. And then I used this grid array tool right here to make three copies in the vertical direction. Um, so first I'll have to get a scrap piece of acrylic and cut the tracing on it to use as a stencil. So I'll have to turn off the black engraving layer first here and also the photo. And we will just send the red cut layer to our machine. I have a piece of scrap acrylic here, which I'll use for my stencil. And I lay down some magnets on the table. And I'll lay this acrylic on top of that. And then lock it down with more magnets. Now that won't go anywhere. And then we'll um, cut our stencils out for our uh, cheese knife. it finished just push it down and I think we can leave it there should be okay to leave it there let's just see if this fits inside okay that fits we got two more here Make sure not to move anything because everything is all aligned already. And we're just going to have to adjust the uh, Z or Z axis downwards because this is um, a little bit higher than the um, base of the acrylic. But everything is sitting flat so far, so that's good because this acrylic is um, raised up a little bit. So now we're just gonna change the Z or Z height to compensate for the thickness of the object. But do not change the origin. We're gonna keep the origin the same. Okay, that's good. Now that we have everything aligned and ready to go, all we need to do is send over the design to the machine. So we're going to select everything, turn off the red line layer, and then turn on the black fill layer and send it over to the machine.
you have it. All I need to do is unload and put a new batch in because I have to do 20 more of these. Thanks guys for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos to get notified of future videos. See you in the next one.